Welcome to Module 7 for Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to merge cells, how to modify cell alignment and indentation, apply cell formats, apply number formats, format cells using the Format Painter, and wrap text within cells. These features give you control over how your worksheets look and feel. Let's format the average ice levels in Antarctica table on the Ice Levels tab. Start by selecting cells A1 through C1. On the Home tab, in the Alignment section, click Merge and Center. This creates one large cell from the three smaller cells and centers the title. Now repeat this for the dates in row two. To unmerge the cells, open the Merge and Center menu and then select Unmerge Cells. You can split cells that have been merged into separate cells again, but you cannot split a single worksheet cell that has not been merged. For now, let's leave the cells merged. To make your table look nicer, delete row three by right-clicking on the row number and pressing delete. Excel enables you to align text and numbers horizontally and vertically. By default, when you enter letters, the cell content is left aligned. When you enter numbers, the content is right aligned. Let's center the content of the average ice levels in Antarctica table. You can format individual cells or entire rows or columns. To bring all the data to center, select columns A through C and click the Align Center button in the Home tab. Since the titles were already centered, by default, Excel will uncenter all the data on the first click. Click again to center the data. Highlight column B and align it to the left. Now, let's increase the indent on the month cells. With the column still highlighted, press the Increase Indent button on the Home tab. The cell content moves to the right border. Once again, center the data. Vertical alignment affects the location of content vertically within a cell. Your options in the alignment group on the Home tab are Top Align, Middle Align, and Bottom Align. You can also select Justify or Distributed, which are available in the Format Cells dialog box. To access the dialog box, Click the dialog box launcher in the lower right corner of the alignment group on the Home tab. One of the ways you can change the appearance of your spreadsheet is through fonts. Let's change the font of the ICE Levels table. Select all the data in the worksheet by holding Control A. To change the font, select a new font from the Font menu on the Home tab. Let's pick Arial. Since Arial tends to appear bigger than the previous font, reduce the size to 10 point. You can change the size in the font size box or click increase font size or decrease font size until the size that you want is displayed. To improve the design of the worksheet, increase the font of the title to 14 point. For the secondary heading of 1980 to 2016, increase the font size to 12 point. Other ways to enhance the look of your worksheet is through changing the font color, attributes, and cell fill color. Let's continue working with the table titles. For consistency, give the title and dates the same color. Highlight cells A1 through C3. Click the Font Color menu in the Home tab and choose the darkest teal color. An attribute is a formatting characteristic such as bold, italic, or underlined text. To create more definition between the title and chart data, let's make the cells in row 3 underlined. Select cells A3 through C3 and click the Underline button in the Home tab. To make the titles stand out further, add coloring to the cells. Highlight the top two title cells and select the lightest teal color from the Fill Color menu on the Home tab. 
For the year, month, extent files, highlight the cells and select the second lightest teal color from the fill color menu. You now have a beautifully formatted table with titles that easily stand out. Normally, values you enter into cells are unformatted. They consist of a string of numerals. You should format the numbers so they are easier to read or are consistent in terms of the number of decimal places shown. You can use tools in the number group on the Home tab to apply a wide variety of number formats, from currency to dates and times to scientific notation. Notice how column C's data varies in format. Some numbers have three decimal places, while others have several. Let's give these numbers consistency. Click the header for column C to select the entire column. On the Home tab in the Number section, open the Number Format menu and choose Number. This gives all the data in column C a consistent format with two decimal places. To give all the data three consistent decimal places, click the Increase Decimal button with the column still highlighted. Likewise, if you wanted to reduce the decimal places to just one, you could click the Decrease Decimal button. Let's leave it at three for now. Format Painter is a feature found in most Office applications that allows you to quickly copy formatting attributes that you have already applied. Return to the Temperature tab of your workbook. Highlight the turquoise cells in row four and click the Format Painter button on the Home tab. The mouse pointer changes to a plus sign with a paintbrush. Now drag over the year cells in column A. The cells now have taken on the same format as the heading row. When a cell is formatted to wrap text, data that's too long to display within the cell's width automatically displays on the next line within the cell. Wrapped text also increases row height automatically. If you later change the column width, the text wrapping and row height adjust automatically. Click on cell A2. On the Home tab, in the Alignment group, click the Wrap Text button. The year 2016 moves to a second line without affecting the column width. Remove the text wrapping by clicking the Wrap Text button again.